The Buellton Wine and Chili Festival is this Sunday. To talk about what the event offers, we are joined by Andres Nuno. He is the event organizer. Good morning. Thanks yes, for joining us. Yes, good morning. Us. Thank you for having me. Of course. We're so yeah. excited to talk about this. So my first question is wine and chili. Why that combination? How did this start? Yes, yeah, so it started uh, back in 2013. Um, and it was actually the Buellton Chambers board who came up with the idea. And uh, they basically had already had a beer festival in town, but they wanted to celebrate the wine industry that's uh, there at Santa Rita Hills as well. And uh, wine and chili seems like an odd mix, but actually if you talk to a lot of the winemakers, it's a great mix for, for them. And it's been very, very popular. We've sold out every year. Uh, probably for the last four or five years. It's it's pretty amazing. And this is the biggest one we're ever going to have. Uh, I don't think we can get bigger than this, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> so. And Andres, you mentioned over 100 vendors at the event over the weekend. Yeah. And then you were, talk, you were talking, too, about the judging process and that they literally go around to each table to evaluate everything fairly. Sure. So we have, uh, we'll have basically around 35 different entries to the chili, red chili or chili verde. And yes, th it is a judged competition. So they, they submit their, their chilies or their salsas. It's judged. And then there's also a people's choice where uh, if you were enjoying it, you could walk around, try anything you'd like, and you vote for your favorites. Uh, and that goes for red, red wine, white wine. And also we have craft beer, we have seltzers, we have uh, spirits there. So you can have a cocktail while you're there as well. Um, it's just, and then we have over 40 different merchant vendors selling items, right? So it, it's really a, a lot of different things that you can do. And it's, uh, yeah. it's, it's pretty amazing what we do at Flying Flags RV Resort there. It in sounds like there's just something for everyone. Yes. And it seems like people there can feel like they're involved too, which is great. So my question is that the event lands on St. Patrick's yes. Day this year. Are you guys doing anything special for so, that? So, uh, yes. Yeah. So this year it happens every four years, which is pretty cool. That mm -hmm. we get to celebrate, we uh, we call it, we're bringing the heat to St. Patty's Day. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna have some traditional Irish dancers, uh, fire dance Irish dancers. Uh, they're based out of the uh, San Inez Valley. Uh, they're also based out of Santa Barbara. So we get to have them on site, um, and you'll see everybody's gonna be dressed up in green, and it's gonna be people really go all out on this event when it when it lands on St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, can't wait. Uh there should be plenty of tickets available too right now, so, or uh, they, they're going this, by quick? <laughs> this year has been pretty amazing. Uh, usually we sell out at the door. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. We anticipate that this is gonna sell out by Saturday, so please get your tickets. If you, if you don't get your tickets, it, there's a chance that it will sell out if you show up to buy them at the door. That just speaks volumes as the kind of event it is. We mentioned right. it to some coworkers here yeah. that have been in the past and they're like, oh my gosh, this is a Central Coast staple. So it just speaks to how much fun the event really is. It really yeah. is. I mean, it, it's very rare that you can go to an event where you get all of the alcohol, right? So a lot of festivals centered around alcohol are, yeah, unlimited samples of whatever's there, craft beer, mm -hmm. wine, seltzers. This includes all types of alcohol, and you get an unlimited uh, tasting of chili and salsa. I mean, it's for one price, it's a pretty good deal. Yeah. Then we got some amazing live entertainment too, so it's right, awesome. Right, right. Well, you're kind of bringing a little uh, flavor of the event yes. here yes. today. What did you bring with you? So today, uh, what we brought is, this is the award-winning uh, chili, or uh, ch sorry, salsa from last year. Okay. Uh, Pancho Gonzalez from Carpinteria uh, is the one who made it. It's a family recipe that he's had for years. Uh, and it's his first year that he entered the competition and, uh, and he won. This what a debut. Judged, yeah, yeah, this is the judged. <laughs> the judged version. Um, so again, there's people's choice and judged, but this is actually sampled by a panel of 20 judges okay. and this is the top one, so. Let's try it, Joey. Yes, yes, and also the best thing to go with this is Taco Works chips. Okay. And so that, okay. that's the best here. Give it a shot right, and let me know what you guys let's think. Let's give it a little try. Yeah. We're gonna try to do this gracefully on camera. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Really tasty. That is incredible. Yeah, I'm I can literally, I'm going to take this and eat all <laughs> you of You guys can keep it. Yeah. All right, well, it's delicious. I mean, if this is just one, just small part of yes. what Sunday will be like. You'll probably like try, you know, you, you have an opportunity of trying 36 different wow. chilies, uh, red chili, chili verde, and salsa that day. 
Amazing. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah. This has been great. This is just a small taste of what we are expecting on yeah. Sunday. The Buellton Wine and Chili Festival is this Sunday at the Flying Flags RV Resort from noon to 4.30. For tickets and more information, you can visit their website. That's BuellantonWineAndChiliFestival.com. Andres, thank you again for joining yeah, thanks us. Thanks for having us. We appreciate it. <laughs> of course. Thank you, Kumba. Right.